Using plaster of Paris, for an average size mold, we're going to use about two ounces of water. Now this amount is going to be different if you're using dental stone. Dental stone actually uses a little bit less water and more powder for the same amount. Uh, but for plaster of Paris, two ounces of water will fill up an average size mold. Now all the molds are different, so if you've got something like the pyramid mold, it's going to take a little bit more than that. So let's start with two ounces of water. We're going to get our measuring cup here. And what we're going to do is we're going to nest a clean cup inside of that. And we're going to pour in two ounces of water. And what I'm going to do is mix this by eye so you can see what it looks like when you mix it by eye. And then we'll compare it to the amount that's actually uh, there after we add the powder to it. So we have two ounces of water in this cup. So I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. And we're going to start sprinkling this powder into the cup. Now let's see if I can get a uh, kind of a close-up view. Um, let's just start right here. Okay, let's start sprinkling the powder in. And what you want to do is just sprinkle a little bit of powder in and let it dissolve down in. Sprinkle a little more, let it dissolve down in. And try not to get in a hurry. What I do sometimes is I spin the cup around because you'll have one area that... Uh, has got uh, standing water and that's the area you want to dump the plaster into. Now slowly you'll see that the amount of time it takes for the plaster to sink down into the water uh, it takes a longer time so it looks like we're starting to get close to the right amount. Now we still have a lot of clear lake of water around the outside so it looks to me like we need to uh, add more powder to this. So we're getting close, we're getting close. Okay now what we've got right now are some islands of powder uh, and we have a little bit kind of a clear lake of water and if you look closely you'll see that the water is slowly seeping up in there. Let's see if I can kind of get a, uh, a close-up view of that there. You'll see that the uh, plaster is slowly, uh, uh, it, it's kind of like the texture of uh, uh, wet clay there. It's seeping up and seeping up that's just right about the right amount if we're mixing by eye. We've got an island on top. We don't have much, uh, much of a lake of water around. In fact, if we pour this, it looks like we're just about there. I would probably add just a touch more powder to it just because I like mine just to be a little bit thicker. But let's see how, what we've got ounce-wise. Ounce-wise, it looks like for two ounces, we're almost up to the four ounce uh, mark, but not quite. We're kind of like with three and a half. We're kind of like at three and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off by just adding just a, a little more powder to that outside edge of water. Not much. Just a light sprinkle. And to me, that right there is going to be just about the perfect amount. So what I'm going to do is take the spoon and I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Now this should mix up kind of like uh, a thin milkshake. Uh, if it's a really thick milkshake that would be hard to pull through a straw, then you probably won't be able to get it into the mold. But we're going to mix this up about a thin milkshake. So it looks to me like two ounces of water. You want to add powder until you get about uh, three and a half, almost four ounces of water. I think if you made it to go up to the four ounce mark, you'd probably be just a little bit too thick. Okay, we're ready to pour this into the mold. 